Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Okay, next up we have Task Changer. So with this enabled, you get to choose a different type of layout for your switching tasks here. So there's several to choose from. We have the stack, which you've just seen. We have a list. We have a grid layout. We have a carousel. We have a slim list. And we have a vertical stack, which you may have seen in previous versions of Android. So with each of these different layouts, you can actually customize how they look further still. So with the layout stack, we have mini mode, so we can actually enable that and the stack will appear in the bottom half of the screen here. So this is good for one handed operation. We can turn on or off the blurring. We can center the current running app. So as soon as you press that, the actual app that you're using will be centered. Whereas if it's turned off, it's currently moved to the side so you can quickly switch between things. We can turn on or off the gesture effect. And we can also allow it to swipe the bottom area to switch to the previous app. Now in the list layout, we can blur, we can change the effect here to on and off, and again, apply the gestures. Grid is the same. Carousel, we can change the actual scroll effect. So we've got the cube in, which is the default, we've got cube out. I'll just turn off the mini mode, see it better. So this is like a cube that's been wrapped that way instead. We've got a linear one, so that'll just be a straight line. We've got a scale. So whichever is active sort of pops up further into the screen. Got a rotation up. So this is almost like they're hanging off a, a washing line or something. And we have a rotation down. So this is like a stack of cards almost. So again, we can have the mini mode on and off this. We can blur, centralize, apply the cube effect or switch to out to the gesture. Slim list, we don't get anything special. We just get the standard three options. And with the vertical stack, again, same options, but we can centralize the currently running app. So for me, I quite like the carousel with maybe a rotation up effect. That's quite a cool looking uh, way of switching apps, I think. So that was Task Changer. Not much to it, but you know, it just adds a bit of bit of flair to your uh, switching of tasks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in the next one.